Hi and welcome to the demo for the Power BI connector for ServiceNow. I'm going to show you how fast and easy you can import your ServiceNow data into the Power BI desktop. So let's start. And I propose to start the demo from the installation process. The Power BI connector for ServiceNow can be installed by the ServiceNow administrator. So if you are not the ServiceNow administrator, please contact your administrator and request to install this connector at your instance. Power BI connector for ServiceNow is available for a 30-day trial and it can be trialed at your sub-production or PDIs as well. To start the trial on your sub-production, please click this try button from the ServiceNow store to the connector. If you are going to trial the connector on your PDIs, please contact us and provide some details about your PDI URL so we can end dial your instance with the trial. Please note, uh, Power BI connector for a trial is a full version, no limitations applied and also support is available during your trial. After the successful installation, these applications become available for administrators only. To provide some specific users with the permission to work with this connector and configure the data sources, ServiceNow administrator need to assign some specific roles to the user who are going to use this connector. We have some dedicated administrator guide how to grant this permission and how to assign roles and a little bit more information about the roles that needs to be assigned. Nevertheless, even after these roles are assigned, those who are going to use this connector will be able to import only the data that are available to these particular users according to ServiceNow permissions. To start the work with the connector, Type in the filter navigator Power BI and navigate to the portal under the Power BI connector for ServiceNow. You can also navigate to the portal just by adding the Power BI underscore connector to your ServiceNow URL. And that's it. So let's create a new data source. Here, all you need to do is just provide it with a name and select the table you need for your investigations in Power BI. I'm select the incident table, add this table to my data set and select the fields I need for my future dashboards according to my requirements. And that's all. I'm just pressing the save button and I'm ready to go to the Power BI. But before we go further, let me tell you a little bit more about additional settings that you can apply during your data source configuration. So the name, as you can see, the required field, but the description is just optional. You can provide some additional details about the data source if you need one. As for the row limit, according to the default settings, there is no limit for the data for the table. So you can import everything in per table. Uh, but if you'd like, you can apply also the row limit and this limit will be applied to each table you are going to import into the Power BI desktop. One more additional setting is the disabling this adding for other users. This is also optional setting, so you can enable it if you'd like to restrict the editing by other users. The next configuration is the most important one because it allows us to narrow down the input results and shorten the import time this way. This is a filtering. You can apply the filters according to your criteria, add as many conditions as you need, combine this with a new criteria and get the exactly and precisely those data you, that you need for your dashboards. You can add as many tables as you need to your data set according to your requirements and using the display value option you can connect these tables afterwards in the Power BI desktop by creating the relationships using the IDs. But one more very useful option our application provides, this is a dot walking support. So no need to connect with the tables and using the IDs, you can just navigate to the field that is interconnected to other tables and use the dot walking, select the fields that you actually need for your reports and go deeper and get the details from another user connected tables. And as you can see, the display value is also available here as well. But the data will be importing within the same incident table. 
So we've done with the data source configuration and we are ready to go to the Power BI desktop. So just copy the URL and switch to the Power BI desktop. Select the all data feed and pass the URL for connection. Here switch to the basic and provide your ServiceNow credentials to connect. I'm over there, I'm going to unload the incidents into my Power BI and start to work with the visualization. And before the end of the demo, I'd love to mention two more things. This is the documentation we have for the Power BI connector and it contains a lot of step-by-step -step guides that can walk you through all the processes and provide you with all the information you need about the plugin. The most important one, this is the scheduled refresh, how to schedule the refresh at your Power BI service or at your Power BI server and update your dashboard on a regular basis and get the actual data. The next one, this is the submit the support request place. So here you can find our help desk and we'll be happy to help you with anything without any of your question information or probably technical or probably feature request please feel free to contact us and i would like to thank you for joining this demo and spending this time with the power bi connector for service now please feel free to contact us uh, if you have any further questions